Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today we are back with reviewing your gameplay. This gameplay was submitted by a member of the community in our Discord and now we're going to take a look at it together as a community. If you guys ever have more questions about Warzone, about gameplay, any questions for me from the gear I use to how I play the game, join me live over on Twitch. That's the best way to get answers from me. But today we are taking a look at viewer gameplay submitted via the Discord. If you want your gameplay reviewed, submit it via the Discord in the pinned comment and the description. You can also use the Discord to find like-minded opponents who use the Warzone Academy strategies in game. Today we are taking a look at Nicholas. Nicholas has a 1.32 KD. He's playing in a 1.03 KD lobby, so pretty competent lobby and pretty, you know, fair for what his KD is. Strengths. He is pretty good at game awareness in mid to long range gun skill and pretty good movement. Also, I'm good at using vehicles and a third person view and abusing the fact that there isn't much of an exit animation to catch enemies off guard, especially useful in solos. Weakness. You're bad at close range tracking and engaging multiple targets at once, and you want to improve your close range ability. Now, we're not going to look at his COD tracker. We got a lot of the information out of there, but it is important to notice one thing right here. We can already see down at the bottom. He's complaining about his close range ability. Well, if we look, he has a mouse right there, so he is clearly a mouse player. So there's definitely going to be some techniques we can talk about to help mitigate that close range gunfight. But without further ado, let's jump in and see what he's rocking. Oh man, I miss this. Right now, Battle Royale solos is not in the game. Oh God, Krampus is still on the map. Now keep in mind, some of this footage may be old in terms of the metas, in terms of the map, and obviously in terms of Krampus. But none of that really matters because we're talking about big picture things like uh, rotations and how to win gunfights and then micro stuff like how to execute in individual gunfights as well. So metas may change. Strategies stay the same. Nice. Oh, and this was also this was in, in one of the limited time modes, uh, the fully loaded limited time mode where you would actually spawn in with equipment. So me personally, I love to get helis and solos too, especially since there's so much dead space in between opponents. So you'll find me getting helicopters in solos so I can get a lot of those big rotations and try as best I can to rack up big kill games. Now, nice. I was going to say with Vanguard solos, it's really tough because the planes kill everyone. Can't stay on those pilots, but we're going to see some great execution here with the heli. I'm going to love this gameplay. I can already tell. So, looting in here, not going for the recon contracts, but he hears an explosion near him, gets hyper flashed, but does a really smart move, and I encourage people to do this all the time, use the animation of vehicles to save yourselves, like if you're ever stunned, you can use that vehicle animation to basically teleport you, he gets into the helicopter, and does he do it? Ooh. So let, let's break down this real quick. What I would do differently. Obviously, ideally, you can get the chop, right? You're getting shot at by an MG. You notice that your health is low on your helicopter. You're most likely not going to be able to go around for another chop. If you did, your vehicle could get shot at. And then all of a sudden, it's you know critically disabled. You can get blown up and lose the whole gunfire right there. When you get out here, okay, there's not a lot of value in you sprinting straight at the opponent and doing a slide cancel, right? You've already snapped. You've centered. Great job. You sprinting, slide canceling does nothing. Now, if you're going to sprint and slide cancel in this direction or in this direction, because right now he is going to try to pre-aim at you, now all of a sudden, when you sprint, slide cancel, and snap your aim over, now he has to transition his aim over to you, right? And that can break his aim assist. Same exact same thing. If you were to swing over here, slide cancel... But, like, let's not do movement just for the sake of doing movement because we see Joe Woe or Biff will do it and it feels really fancy, right? Let's actually have intentionality behind why we're moving towards a target. So when we do this, keep in mind, he's already going to be aiming at you. So unless you're going to dodge laterally... Let's get a perfect stop right... Snap, okay? So unless you're going to dodge laterally, the only thing that I would do personally different, if he's aiming at your center chest, let's hit a drop shot. Because if we're not going to move laterally left or right, what we can do 
is just hit an instant drop shot, and that's what I would have done in the situation. Drop down to the floor, which would cause his aim to have to snap down. He potentially can miss a few extra bullets. Nice. Get the kill. We know we're getting third partied. Great job instantly getting some of that movement in. You try to pick up a plate. You're basically finessing behind concealment, not actual hard cover. Great tags. Ooh. And I would have capitalized on that, man. My first thought would have been, hey, let me try to get to some cover. But as soon as you get that crack, you know he's going to be getting into cover. So I would take that opportunity to aggress on him instead of getting in a very, very weak heli. But hey, it was a safe play either way. Going to be able to push in towards him. You see him in that lower window. Kind of doing that third person abuse like you were talking about. No! And that's what I was worried about. Wait, you got the kill. He actually killed him. So risky play there. Cheeky play there. But it cost you your life. I would have taken advantage of the fact that he was cracked. And once he's cracked and you're established on what would be a disgusting head glitch right here, you'll be able to cover left side of the building, right side of the building, and window much easier and with much less risk than doing this. All good, though. Super unlucky that you both blew up to that. Let's head into the gulag. I love that. So what he did right there, if you didn't notice... He kind of like bot turns over to this side, telegraphs that he's heading left, snaps over to the right. <sighs> nice. Okay, first challenge. Great. Immediately when you finish that slide cancel, boom, gun, gun went up. This one. Felt like he kind of paused for a second, maybe he panicked. But hey, either way, great win. Okay, hitting the regain. Spot a player flying in. This is toxic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Great job stabilizing there for a second, too, before you started taking those shots. Okay. Now, my question to you is, what is your game plan? I haven't seen you pull up a map. I haven't seen you mark a bounty. For me, I always am looking for bounties or scavs after I get out of the gulag because I want more cash or I just want to kill someone who has the cash so I can start stacking self-revive, potentially buy a loadout later, start stacking UAVs. Right now, it kind of looks like you're just on the hunt, possibly for gunshots or... Like, why, why are we landing here? Is there a reason we're landing here? Doors are open here, too. Actually, that door's been creeped open. So there's a rat in here! Okay. Let's use a little context clues, right? I called it out. It could be a thing or it could not. If we see a door that is not completely ajar, 90 degrees, right? That means someone had creeped open that door. Why is anyone creeping open a door in a house in the middle of nowhere? Probably because they're a rat. So when I see that, anxiety is going through my mind. So I'm going to challenge through that door extremely aggressively. Fortunately, that's exactly what you do. You miss the claymore. Good shots there. Little shaky. You have a habit of like constantly, you know, jumping in place, which is fine. Um, just make sure if you are going to do that, you're aiming center mass. Yes, sir. Give it to him. I don't even teach that in the academy. I love that. If you're a habitual jump shot or aim center chest, that way some of the bullets go into the head. Go and aim at the head and then jump shot because then some are going above the head. Alright, nice job. I'm not going to sit here and watch you loot. I'm just going to kind of press through the game and see, uh, see how you press forward, okay? Throw a C4 on the truck. You were spamming you were spamming F to pick things up. Double tapped it and blew up the car. So that kind of ruined your trap. I do like the trap idea, though. Hitting our loot. Pressing through the map. Awesome. Let's see why we pinged there. 
Why did we ping? That's why. Okay, technique we always talk about, right? We saw this orange ping here about 30 seconds in advance. Why the heck is he pinging that? It's because he sees a dot here, and that's basically just going to be his reminder. As he works through and he loots all these buildings, he's going to know target last seen right there. Great technique. Oh, I hate those elves, man. I hate those elves. Pressing forward, like you were talking about, using that third person advantage. Trying to peek through the windows, you get the information. Okay, see, let's talk about the difference between this and the helicopter, okay? When you hit this, intentional or not, you pulled a hard cut laterally, right? When he comes out, he is aiming right towards your driver door, and you cut off to the side, breaking his aim. The helicopter earlier, you went straight on. So, right, whether you're intentionally doing this or not, I want to keep reinforcing good habits. Keep, if we're going to move, let's move with intention and move away from his aim. Literally smoked that guy. He even, he even snapped really quick. Watch that snap. He snapped really quick. But in solos, I, that was one thing that Birder's speed and the main channel we talked about is that that animation just can be, can be completely abused. Really nice job there. Pressing forward. Opted to go for the UAV over the self revi. The actual gonads on this man. Nice. Okay, so what he did is he marks one building and then he double clicks to create a secondary mark of a red target. Those expire a little bit quicker, but if you can remember it, really nice tool to use. So you have one of two options here as a player. I'm going to pull up the map one more time. The safe option, if you are a conservative player and you're wanting to play solos and get more wins, would be to take this building right here, hold the high ground, and kill this player, and, you know, kill these guys as they're rotating in. If you're wanting to be the aggressive player, you know that these players are most likely going to converge, and one of them is going to kill. So if you're wanting to be the aggressive player, you're going to want to rotate out of the zone, kill this player, kill this player, know that you're getting gate kept, and then eventually kill this one. But it's all a matter of strategy. Both are right decisions. It just depends on your intent as a player, your goal to get max kills, or to play for the win. You obviously are opting for the more aggressive playstyle, pushing in towards the zone. Only thing I would change, though, is these guys are distracted, right? They're so focused on their gunfight with two fighters in here. You could jump out right here and run up and completely catch these guys by surprise. I also think you still have a dead silence in your back pocket, as opposed to a giant truck rolling up on their building, letting them know, hey, I am coming. Nice, nice. All right, let's talk about a few things. One, I wouldn't park my truck there on the other side because you're going to lose to the gas, which you end up doing. I think this nade is perfectly fine. I will say, however, this stim is kind of a waste. I like to use stims right before I am about to approach where I expect the enemy to be, right? So if you expected an enemy to be in this lower door, you would stim right now or maybe about now so that way you could stim and slide right the value of the stim isn't the two percent movement speed increase it's like the 50 percent sliding in increase right so we want to be able to use that slide that's where the real value is so i would wait to stim till i'm about here and then do some crazy stuff when you hit the top of the stairs nice job saving your bullets there jumping early so you don't get the vault animation really nice tracking to get the kill there but i would be careful 
I would be very careful. Okay, keep in mind, we just killed the, the... Boom, those are the two guys we were expecting. But what? There was one person still here on your ping. So I am not going to be plating up with zero health out in the middle of no man's land. I'm going to push inside of this building. I'm picking apart your gameplay. You got a 1.3 KD. I know you can play a little bit more disciplined. If that player took up the second ground or second story over here or took up this hillside for the gatekeep, you would be dead. Play for that immediate cover, assuming you're about to get third party. I see a little bit of that action right here, though. Why are you paranoid for that building? Nice job, though. Eight kills to your name. Really solid mechanical skill. I'm not sure why that's still a thing. Rotating towards a Lodi. SPR. SPR. And an MP40. Not really going to critique the meta builds yet, but it looks like a, like a pretty solid build for that MP40 as well. I'm all about the sniper SMGs, though, so I'd love to see it. All right. Using the truck to your advantage. I would probably get a self-revive if I were you, because you've already hit the gulag. But I, I want to start seeing a little bit more incorporation of contracts. Start building that economy, whether it's through bounties. You don't seem like you'd be a scav or a recon player. You seem like you're on the hunt for chasing red dots. Let's get the bounty into our cross check, into our game plan, so we can start stacking UAVs, because we, we've been a little cash short this entire game. Sweet. You spot the trophy system. You want to pick it up. Let's see how you take this gunfight. Love the little jump peeks for info while you're plating. Great use of cover. Absolutely lasered. Now keep in mind, this is, you know, a lesser quality recording. Spots the player. Chases the hit markers. If I'm you, and you're obviously you're a, you're a PC player, right? If I'm ever really struggling to see someone, I'll start live pinging into bushes, and that'll help me out. But absolute beams. Great shots there. So as we're doing this, actually, it looks like you're opening up the map, possibly looking for some form of... Um bounty and there are there are like no bounties in your area so that's possibly a reason you're not picking up contracts but even still i would pick up a i would pick up a supply run and that would probably pull to like right here maybe over here i would kill anyone i see in route and then when i get there i get a free self revive and enough money to get a uav so even if it's not ideal if you have a vehicle you might as well rock a supply run Because right now, we're just kind of rotating without intention. We don't really know where anyone would be. Oh, no. Your worst nightmare. Truck v. Truck. Nice. Okay. Anytime I find myself in a truck v. Truck situation, I'm going to turn my side to where I'm facing the other direction, to where my truck is the cover. And then I'm just, especially in solos, I burn other trucks, man. I just put all my fire into them. But then really nice job to be the first one to get out. Free aim. And then catch him in the animation. Great kill. Pop the UAV instantly to make sure we're safe. Also keep in mind this is solos and everyone loves to get ghosted. And great decision. Let's go ahead and mark the guys who are closer to each other so we can get the follow-up kill right after. So he marks one, he double clicks the other. The double click disappears faster, so that's, that's why he's doing that for the closer one. Spots him inside of there. What the f? Uh, yeah, dude. Come on. War Zone's been out for a while. That's pretty predictable.
nice way to angle your angle yourself off with this little like wood he wasn't able to see you you're not going to get away with that in some higher kd lobbies but nice shots either way you're like you said your movement's good your little slide cancel challenges are good I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm dogging on you. Like, you're you're really executing this strategy well, and you're clearly abusing a mechanic that, that's pretty nice in the game. But regardless of that, you still have great shots, great movement, um, and you're you're definitely more of a lean forward player, and you're going to continue to to improve aggressively and rapidly as a result of forcing these gunfights and these rotations. Using the truck in the third-person perspective, trying to get some information... Spots the player. Nice. You probably could have gotten him by running him over. Ew, no. But nice job hopping out either way. Ooh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get out of here. I hope you can, honestly. I really hope you can. I think you can get in out in between these two shacks. But I want to see you without the truck. The truck is your crutch, Nick. Get out. Nice. Okay. Truck is stuck. Worked his way towards the buy station. Hopefully finally gets himself a little UAV. Able to rotate in safely. Checks the heartbeat to make sure it's clear. Gets the UAV. Gets the self-revive. And pockets another one. And then, yeah. So you, you do clearly have it in your cross-check. You're going for the most... Or the top secret contract which is effectively a bounty with an advanced UAV. Or the big game bounty, not top secret. <laughs> Marks the truck, my man. This, I mean, let's be honest. This is, this is the, like, easiest way to succeed in solo. You're still playing aggressive, right? You're not just like, you got 12 kills, which is pretty dang good for a solos match. But yeah, you can definitely abuse this one. Boom. Constantly updating the center point of the big game bounty with your marker to figure out where he's at. No way. Did you even spot him? You just accidentally ran over him. And there it is. Wait. You didn't get your advanced UAV? That's kind of a bug that's still happening in the game. Unfortunately, you got robbed. You can knock the Bertha strats, but he's executing it perfectly right now. This guy's getting chased by Krampus. I hope Krampus destroys your truck. I want to see your I want to see your gunfights so you, cuz your your gun skill is good. I want to see you fight some some good opponents. Like right here you're going to jump. Got a full send on the guy. Nice little B hops. Tough shots to hit. A good win. I would have done the exact same thing. Yep, great shots across the board. Sliding in, good movement. While he's plating, he's always anticipating that he's going to get sniped, so he's putting in some shimmies. He's playing well. Back to the buy. Notice how he's third-personing right there to clear himself out. Hey, I'm about to get sniped. Good. One thing I do is every single time after I buy and I get out of this menu and I'm popping a UAV... I'm shifting two feet to the right. Popping a UAV, shifting two feet to the right. Now, just in case there's a super body sniper, I mean, a good sniper is going to get you. But you can still avoid getting sniped by really easy guys. So put in that little bit of shimmy while you're buying your advanced. Nice. Constantly getting those last known locations. You know based off this information... All of these players are unghosted, except for that player right there. So if I'm doing anything on the map, the single dot means they are unghosted. So that is my number one priority. Like that is the guy that I want to kill more than anyone in the lobby. Because then I kill everyone else with just $6,000. Krampus torched your truck. Nice dead silence pop. Ten bullets left. 
Good reposition for cover. Gone. Yeah, honestly, you played that perfectly. I mean, here, popping the dead silence ahead of time. I love that. I probably would have held fire right here when I don't see him with that, like, obstruction. I mean, good shots. Your tracking's not bad. Pushing forward, being aggressive. You're, I think your centering's a little uh, a, a little rough. I mean, here, shooting lower waist, lower waist, toes, 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 toes. Boom, snap in, center. Maybe, like, hold off on your trigger finger just for a second, especially in moments where you're low ammo, until you snap to the center. Because it's like you're shooting and then dragging your aim to where it needs to be. Great job, though, getting under cover. The very first thing I would have done here after I reloaded is throwing that Simtex. Throw that Simtex. Forces him out of cover. Nice play. Okay, so now let's remember, we got the guy over there, but we also have one guy rotating in on our right. We'll have to see if he's going to be a threat. But you're focusing on the, the ping that you remember. You see that there's a truck. Me, late game solos, brother, I'm not touching this vehicle. Unless I need to make a fat rotation, this vehicle is just projecting your location to everyone, and it's not a lot of cover. So if I'm going from there to there, I'm going on foot. But I know what you want. I think everyone in chat knows what you want. Nice. Ditch the truck, brother. Bottom on the lower right. Ooh, just a little high. Nice tag. Using the truck to third person in. Try to go for the wall bangs. You're gonna lose. Oh my god! Alright. Very close, right? Okay, so for those of you that didn't see it initially... Right here, you can see that player. You can see his white pant leg right there and his upper torso. Okay. As soon as I don't get those, if I'm going to clear a building, I'm going to abuse utility. You have two Simtexes. Now I believe Simtexes do like 200 damage at close range. Let's use that Simtex because I don't want to try to win a 50-50 gunfight because that's what you're forcing is a 50-50 gunfight. He is stuck inside a closed space. If you throw that Simtex, one of two things are going to happen. Either he's going to sit there and he's going to tank the Simtex and take a lot of damage. Easy gunfight. Or he's going to run and then he's going to get stuck out in no man's land, either vaulting or stuck out in the, the ravine. Or I guess technically he could run towards you and then he's going to be stuck in a sprint to fire animation and you're going to be able to gun him. But instead, great challenge. Tough gunfight. And you end up winning it. One thing I will say is I find yourself like bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is great when you have like lateral momentum, right? So when you have lateral momentum and you can continue to make like a, a bunny hop swing, but eventually your bunny hop looks like this, right? And you're not doing much to your opponent's aim. Their aim is moving this much to track you. Eventually at the end of my bunny hop, I hit a drop shot because it's like wide swing, wide swing, wide swing. Now all of a sudden it's a small swing, small swing, small swing. And then it's just sitting there and they're not having to do much, especially on controller players. So what you need to do is do your absolute last result. And which is great for PC players because it literally snaps down to it. Drop shot. Because then their aim has to go up and then down. So I would add that for me. It's, it's one of my mouse buttons. So I can just literally tap it once and I'm drop shotting. Um, I, I don't think I've seen you drop shot at all yet. Good win, though. Back into the truck. 16 kills to his name. Possible 20 bomb on the line. Doesn't want to go down into the ravine to hit the buy. Possibly is going to hit the buy up here. You got to be really, really paranoid at this point in the game. You got a full health truck, so you can pretty much drive around wherever you want to feel safe. Basically, only a double C4 is going to kill you. We're going to fast forward while you third person peek everything. Ooh, there's literally two people right above you. Get out. Nice. Okay. You throw the cluster because someone's above you. You notice that your truck is absolutely one HP. So you go ahead and jump out. It's too much of a liability at this point. Get 
getting the information there. But, I mean, hey man, I would, this high ground right here is beautiful. I, I really hope you end up taking it. And it looks like you do, but you delayed it for so long. This player was down here on your orange ping, and because you delayed it so long, now he has the high ground on you. On top of that, d d does he know that you're down here? He sure as shit does now. Wrapped all the way behind. Oh, you killed this guy at the very beginning. This was the guy you first killed at the very beginning of the game. You were playing that so well, man. You were playing that so well. I think while you... I'm pretty sure he was stuck behind there as well. That's honestly just an unlucky third party. I don't know where this guy came from. Man, that was his snapshot. That's just a super unlucky third party. I mean, possibly if you would have used your, your economy better, you could have ended up with a couple more UAVs to, to put you up there. I think the only thing that I would have done differently is try to... Right after this... Like, I would be controlling that high ground up there. Right, so not this little high ground that you ended up fighting for. I would be fighting for this ultimate high ground up here, gatekeeping these guys. You wrap deep behind and end up fighting for the high ground right here. Obviously, with high ground on a close range, you could get shot in the back. Like, you really, really wrap deep back here. Man, playing your cover well. Snap, you, and you had no idea that snapshot came from behind. That's just unlucky. You, you really can't break that down. I will say great games overall. Like, great rotation, great use of the truck. It's still an easy, easy way to exploit and get 1v1s. You're basically never getting caught off guard, right? Until you get C4 or someone takes out your vehicle. A fantastic gameplay. You can definitely work on that, that, that close range... And I feel like you're taking a lot of your shots before you're centered on the upper upper chest. You can definitely use a lot of the, the techniques that I was talking about to continue to be more aggressive. But you're using a lot of those basic Warzone Academy fundamentals when it comes to marking where you're going, using the UAVs, the animations, getting out of vehicles. Make sure when we're moving, we're moving with purpose instead of just Throwing in a slide cancel because we can. Just super unfortunate you committed to jumping over that ledge and there happened to be someone there. Okay, so you must have spotted him. Shots, I guess. NGGs. But my guy, Nicholas, thank you for submitting your gameplay. And uh, I'm pretty sure you're the same Nicholas that has been uh, showing up in some of my games as a friendly stream sniper. So uh, appreciate the support, man. You're an absolute demon. Keep up the great work. Like, I'm really surprised you're a 1.3 KD player playing like that. That must be like your Verdant's KD after growing as a player. I imagine your weekly KD is probably in the range of a 2, if not higher. Um... I want to see if you want to submit some more gameplay, maybe like some solo duos or some duos or trios or quads playing as a team. Um, and not exploiting that truck so much. 
but it works. It executed, and you did really solid. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. Shout out to Nick once again for submitting his gameplay. If you want to submit yours, out of all the available via the description and the pinned comment in our Discord. Make sure to like this video if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more, and join me live over on Twitch for even more Warzone Academy content. Peace.